Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Franz von Holzhausen, and I'm Chief of Design for Tesla Motors, and I'm super excited that you guys came out on a Monday night, the end of September, beautiful night we have for you. This is our design studio here in Hawthorne, and um, we have something really special to talk about and to show you. So, without further ado, let me introduce to you Mr. Elon Musk. All right, thanks everyone for coming. Um, so what, what we want to uh, show you tonight is essentially the answer to the three major problems that are holding back electric vehicles, or at least that people think are holding back electric vehicles. Um, you know, one is this question of being able to drive long, long distances conveniently. And you, with, a, with a gasoline car, you can drive, in theory, anywhere, anywhere you want with, with high convenience. Well, how do you do that with with an electric car, and that's what uh, the, the supercharger is going to enable. Uh, then another question is, what do we do about the fact that uh, uh, when electricity is generated, it is generated at a power plant? And so w what about this idea that uh, the uh, emissions are just pushed to the power plant? And we're going to show you how we address that. Um, and then the third is, well, what about the cost of electric vehicles? How do we uh, how do you compare the cost of electric vehicles with the cost of, uh, of, of gasoline vehicles? And we'll address all three of those things. The, the, rea the answer to that is what we're going to show you here with the Tesla supercharger. So we're going to have these at highway rest stops all, where, all around the country um, and around the world. And that's combined with uh, the, the, the solar power deck that you see there. So that provides the solar power that uh, goes to the supercharger and then to the cars. So what we're able to do here with, with the supercharger is charge at about 100 kilowatts. Uh, and go, going forward, potentially as much as 100, 120 kilowatts. What, what that means is you could, you could drive for three hours, stop for less than half an hour, and recharge and be ready to go again. So, yeah. So if, if, you, if you take the typical trip that someone experiences when they're, when they're driving, let's say you, you, you started out at 9 a.m. and you drove for three hours. Around noon, you'd want to stop for a bite to eat, uh, go to the restroom, uh, grab a coffee and be on your way. And that actually takes about 20 to 30 minutes. And what you can do with the supercharger, you can just plug your car in, and by the time you're done with all that, you're ready to go again. So there's no meaningful difference between driving a, 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 an electric car and driving a gasoline car. And the supercharger, this is not something that's going to be deployed at some distant point in the future. This is video from today showing four of the supercharger locations in use. So we, we actually have six superchargers installed already. There's four of them, Boston, Folsom, Tejon, and Harris. And in fact, uh, we, have, uh, we have here two of the people that, uh, the, the first two non-Tesla people to use the two supercharger network. And we'll, we'll go to them in a moment. Uh, one is uh, Brad Berman from the New York Times, and he's driven all the way from Tahoe to, out to Los Angeles. It's over 500 miles today. Yeah. And in fact, th th he's going to be writing a story that's going to be in this Sunday's New York Times, so, so look for that when it comes out. Um, and then there's a, 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 one of our customers, Ben Weiss, took uh, delivery of the car in, in Las Vegas and drove, drove here from Las Vegas. You know, you can actually do that trip nonstop, as Motor Trend did, but it, you, you can also do it really fast with the air conditioning on if you use a supercharged network. <laughs> <laughs> so so ben, ben took advantage of that. 
And, um, and then he's going to be driving he's, uh, on from here to Santa Barbara. So you can drive from Las Vegas to Santa Barbara, no problem, uh, with, with, with this network. And so it's, it's actually already deployed. Uh, so you can drive almost anywhere in California uh, right now. This is not, so, like I said, this is not some you know, figment of imagination that maybe it'll happen some point in the future. This is, these are installed. We, we, we built these up in secret, um, and we're unveiling it for the first time tonight. So. <laughs> So um, by the end of this year, in a, in, a, in a few months, we'll actually have a bunch more installed in California and extending to uh, uh, Nevada and Oregon. And going beyond that, within two years, this is not an exaggeration, within two years, we will cover almost the entire United States uh, with, with superchargers. You'll be able to travel practically anywhere. And then our long-term goal uh, which is perhaps in the sort of four or five year time frame, so not t t Tesla long term. <laughs> um, four or five year time frame, we expect to cover the entire United States without exception and uh, the lower part of Canada. So, yeah. <laughs> and then in addition beyond this, we'll obviously have superchargers in Europe and Asia, so you'll be able to travel almost anywhere in the world um, on, with an electric car, with, it, with, with, with your Model S, um, with the le same level of convenience as a gasoline car. Um, and then because uh, we have the solar power systems that are, uh, that, that are providing the energy, and, and we're sizing the solar power systems uh, with, uh, with, with Solar City uh, to, to generate more power than the cars use over the course of a year. So you're, the, the, the solar power system will actually put more power back into the grid than, than the cars use during driving. When this is a very important thing. Be be because it, 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 it goes to the heart of the argument that people will use to say, oh, well, this doesn't really address the CO2 problem because what about the power plant? They know th th this, this is putting more energy back in the grid than the cars use. Okay. And in creating this, the, the, the supercharger and the, the, the solar panels and all that, working closely with, uh, um, with SolarCity and, and using the, the, the existing charger technology that we have in the Model S um, running in parallel, we're able to use the economies of scale of the Model S and, and do the whole thing very inexpensively, uh, which, which is also very, very important because it's going to enable us to offer this to Model S customers for free. So if, if, for, for Model S cars that have supercharger hardware installed, which will be the case for the 85 kilowatt hour pack and, and for a small incremental charge for the 60 kilowatt hour pack, it, it'll, you, you'll be able to travel for free forever on pure sunlight. <laughs> so I, I think it's pretty hard to, to beat that. You know, I mean, free long distance, you're not going to get that with gasoline. So, yeah, or at and yeah. Uh, so I, th I think, this, I th I think this, this day will actually go down um, as, as being quite historic. I think it, at least on par with SpaceX docking with the space station earlier this year. I mean, I really think this is important. Um, and, 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 and really, uh, I want you to go out there and, sort of and, and spread the word. Because people have this idea that if you have an electric car, you, you can't, you, you're sort of, you la there's no freedom. You're, you're stuck. You're, you're, you know, they have this, this, this idea that you can't go anywhere. And what we're showing here today is that, in fact, you have more freedom than with anything. You'll be able to go anywhere. And, and you can feel really good about uh, your, your travel because you're, you're going on sunlight. And by the way, if you want to go from LA to New York, if you pack food and stay with friends, you can leave your wallet at home. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, well, let's see. So, well, uh, we, we'll show a few, a few extra videos as Model S charging. I think, I think we're actually going to see how much it charged in the last, uh, since it was parked there. I think it charged quite a lot. <laughs> um, anyway, so it, it, th th there was quite a significant uh, amount of charge that the car gained. 
just while we were sitting here. Um, so th thanks very much for coming, and um, I'll, I'll be around uh, if you want to talk to me. So uh, yeah, uh, uh, thank you very much. Bye.